what's up guys good morning <clears throat> welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fantastic day so got an actual really cool video for you guys i'm going to put together right now so i am this close to painting the chassis and my mind is always thinking i'm going to keep this short and sweet so what would be the next best thing to powder coating i'm thinking i'm like ah you know spray paint don't work all that well you know rattle cans um you know as far as uh longevity as far as uh you know sand and rock penetration going down the road uh rust corrosion what will work really really well and all of a sudden it hit me like a like a poof, i had one of those aha moments so i want you to think for a second if you go in a bathtub and you take a magnet is your magnet going to stick to the bathtub and the answer is yes. B bathtubs are porcelain. Porcelain is basically tile. Tile is, is uh, it attached to the metal. And showers go through extreme heat conditions, super high humidity conditions. So I thought to myself, I said, holy shit, this could actually work really well. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use and what we're gonna paint this frame with. It's actually tile and bath paint. I've used it before when I purchased this house, you know, refinishing uh, a bathroom. It's actually pretty neat. It works really well. It's very strong, it's very durable. And I think it's gonna work really well on this chassis. So I am not a fan of spray paint. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I'm not a fan of it on chassis on suspension components it just never looks right it never holds up i'm a huge believer of powder coating but not everybody has that ability to pull their chassis apart you know to take everything out you know send it down to a guy and have him sandblast it and powder coat it it's a lot of work so right now is a great time for me to um you know you try out this this method on this wagon because you know they just they're, they're not gonna have the chassis powder coated. They're, you know, that's out of the budget. So let me show you what we're gonna use. So this is the kit we're gonna use, a Homax Toughest Tile Kit. You can purchase this at Home Depot for 62 bucks. In one, one box, you get two pretty decently sized cans that come in this box. It says it takes 48 hours to cure. Uh, I would imagine that we could speed up the process a little bit because we're going to leave it out in the sunlight and let nature do its thing. But either way, I would still say 36 hours, you know, maybe a little more. I went ahead and prepped the frame for, um, you know, for, for it to be painted. Very rarely do you get to see the top side of the chassis, obviously, unless you're um, pulling the car apart. So. We're gonna get one good shot at doing the bottom side of the chassis. And that's why I'm starting with the chassis upside down.
Wow, that came out really nice. Four cans on a 14 foot chassis. We basically did three sides, the bottom and the, and the insides and outsides of the rails. And it really looks good. Uh, in the sun, I'm, there's some spots that I gotta hit again. I gotta run back to Home Depot, get a couple more cans. But it, it, while spraying the paint, it laid really nice. It wasn't watery. Uh, it, it flowed really nice out of the can. And I'm actually really impressed, all things considered. Um, I had my uh, 64C10 powder coated uh, white, and it looks damn near just as good as that. You know, I got a couple runs in from uh, the primer. Something to keep in mind too. This entire chassis was uh, sandblasted. I don't know if you knew that or not, but um, it looks really good. All things considered, again, coming from a spray can and roughly uh, $120 worth of paint, which is four cans. Um, it looks really good. I'm very impressed. We'll have to uh, do a durability test once the customer gets their car back. And they let me know how it all pans out. Extremely pleased with how the chassis came out using that uh, tile paint, bathtub paint. It really looks good. I'm actually pretty blown away by it on how good it looks. So still got a cure, it says 48 hours. It's no longer tacky. We'll see how it works. I mean, hey, you never know. It's uh, $62 in Home Depot. You get two big cans, four cans, basically did three sides of the chassis. So you would need uh, probably a total of six and you'd have plenty. But I'm very pleased with how it came out. The next best thing to powder coating. I would obviously go powder coating if it was me, but we're doing this on a budget. So um, roughly, 130 bucks, 140 bucks in material right now. So another 62 bucks. So 200 bucks, you got six cans to do the whole chassis. That's not bad.